This video is divided into two main sections, assembling the control and attaching the control to the puppet. As before, I'll be demonstrating with the swallow puppet, but the processes are exactly the same for the goldfinch puppet, and I'll show you some snapshots of the goldfinch as we go along. For assembling the control, you will need two control bars from your carving kit, a wooden bead, a hook and three screw eyes from your carving kit, the control rod from your carving kit, Araldite glue and acrylic paints. In this video I am also using fine sandpaper to sand the control bars. However, you will also need some coarse sandpaper as the control bars come rough sawn in your carving kits. Assembling the control step one. Give the control bars a thorough sanding. The control bars in your carving kits are rough sawn, so start with coarse sandpaper and progress to fine. This may take a little bit of patience. It's up to you, of course, how smooth you want the finish to be. Assembling the control step two. The thinner control bar has three braddle holes. I have already marked these in for you. Screw a screw eye into each of these three holes. Make sure the three screw eyes line up as shown here. Assembling the control step three. The bottom of the main control bar is marked with an X. And there is a braddle hole at the nearest end. Screw the hook into that braddle hole. so that it points upwards away from the bottom. The thin bar now hooks onto the main control bar. Assembling the control step four. The side with the X is where to insert the rod. Insert the rod so that one centimeter pokes out of the top. Try fitting the bead on top. You may need to adjust the position a little. You want the rod to be flush with the top of the bead. Assembling the control step five. Now that you've tested the fit, you can glue the rod and the bead in place. Mix up some Araldite glue in equal parts. Deassemble the control and then add glue to the tip of the rod before reinserting it into the control bar. Next, apply a little more glue to the tip of the rod. and then fit the bead in place. Leave the glue to set.
Assembling the control step 6. Once the glue is set, you can paint the control bar. I use acrylic paint for the control as it's quick to dry. I use black and blue for the swallow and brown and black for the goldfinch. Here's what you're aiming for. For attaching the control, you will need your assembled puppet, your assembled control, two lengths of braided thread from your carving kit, four brass crimps from your carving kit, your threader, a bar of beeswax, small pliers, a braddle, and araldite glue. Attaching the control step one. The body has been pre-drilled with a three mil hole. This should be a snug fit for the control rod, but the wood may have swollen a little with painting. Here I am expanding the hole again with my braddle. Try inserting the rod into the hole. Don't apply glue just yet. The main control bar should be parallel to the body of the bird. When you're happy with the fit, glue the rod in place with Araldite. Attaching the control step two. Rub beeswax into one end of the braided thread. Then hook your threader onto the opposite end. Then thread the cord through one of the wings until the wax section is running through the hole. Tie a double knot in the waxed thread. Hook your threader onto the spare end of the cord. And thread a brass crimp onto the cord. Now thread the rest of the cord through the crimp. Squeeze the crimp shut with your pliers. Attaching the control step three. Repeat step two so that both wings have strings attached. Now we need to attach the strings to the control. Here I have gripped the base of the main control bar in a clamp to give a bit of stability. Use the same techniques as before. Apply beeswax to the ends of the braided thread. Hook your threader onto the end of one of the strings and thread it with a brass crimp. Do this on both sides.
Next, tie one of the strings to the control bar with a single knot. Adjust the length of the string so that the wing can still point downwards. Repeat on the opposite side. Adjust the length so that the two sides are even. When you're happy with the lengths, double the knots. Thread the spare ends through the crimps. Squeeze the crimps shut with your pliers. Finally, cut off the excess thread. This is what you're aiming for. Here's one last little finishing touch, just for the swallow puppet. You can attach some little ostrich feathers to form the tendrils of the swallow's tail. You will need a braddle, yoo-hoo glue, and two ostrich feathers from your carving kits. Poke a hole into the end of each tail tip with your braddle. Apply a blob of glue onto the base of each feather and then insert them into the holes. Thank you for following my Carver Puppet Bird tutorial series. If you've reached this far in the project, I'd love to see what you've made. You can get in touch with me via Instagram or Facebook or you can send me an email at sarah at sarahvigarsart.com also, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. If you have positive feedback, you can send me a testimonial and I'll use it to promote the series in the future. You're also welcome to send me any questions, queries, things you're not sure about, things that you've got stuck with in the project, and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Furthermore, if you've got any ideas on how I can make my tutorials better, send those as well. But please, be constructive and be kind. Thank you.